Hi everyone. This is the Sandman, the Sandman episode four: A Hope in Hell. Um, I have really enjoyed this uh, series. It's very good. It's very deep. It's very gorgeous. Um, yeah, there's not much to really like complain about. I really love it, and I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the ride. I feel like this is one of those shows where you just kind of have to sit back and just really take everything in. And um, I find that the title is very, 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 very ironic because how are you going to find a hope in hell? And I, I like that this this show pushes the buttons. And my cat's here. Let me let me let him in. Okay, but I am very, very excited to jump straight into this. Um, there is full-timer reactions, the uncut, unedited versions of these reactions, and early access on Patreon if you would like to support me there and have those perks. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And don't forget to leave a like here because that helps with the algorithm and that's that's necessary on YouTube. Also, I do know that Brienne of Tarth, the actress who plays Brienne of Tarth, is in this episode because she it, there was a small little clip that she, um, when I pressed play, um, or I clicked on the video, she popped up. So I'm excited to see what her character is in this in this series. So hell does exist. <laughs> it does. Wow. For some. So which way do we go? I suggest we follow the damned. Wow. I love that I have my cat friend and he has his bird friend. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is a twist on hell. I like that. Whoa. You right? Oh, man, this good Samaritan. I'm about to get killed, old oh, lady. I lost my slipper somewhere. Oh, here you go. Oh. Oh, she's nice. Kind. Yeah, she's very, very kind. Can I? Do you need a ride somewhere? I'd be happy to take you. Please don't I hurt her. Oh, you're not imposing at all, honestly. It's Good. on my way. She's a great couple. woman. I'm Rosemary. Rosemary's baby. Rosemary. Watch that movie Jordan. if you've never seen it. Rosemary's baby is freaking crazy. Come on, I'll introduce you to Susie. Oh. Susie, my Rottweiler. Oh. Oh, she's like, I'm good. I have my Rottweiler. <laughs> I could pick up any guy or woman. It doesn't matter. A king may not enter another monarch's realm uninvited. Oh, you, um, you are a king. He is a king. Which must be followed. So interesting that there are rules even in hell. <laughs> oh. Damn that voice. So you said to haunt your dreams. Mm. And your waking hours too. Or will you open the gates of hell and let us through? Ooh, that rhymed. She wasn't a very good person, I'm afraid. <laughs> I have a mother like that too. Mm. Really? Oh, most people do. What does she do? She watches cable news. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. That's tough. My mother was a very successful thief. <laughs> what did she steal? Is that rude to ask? I'm sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> this woman's uh, so freaking cool. Everything. Like a woman with children of her own. Two girls. Samantha. God, if he kills her. <laughs> I think lying is maybe the worst thing you can do to another person. I agree. I am. I am feel the same way about that. I'm sure your mom loved you and was proud of you. Damn. Forgive me in the end. Imagine she was a liar. He probably would have killed her. She had me arrested, of course, and thrown in prison. For stealing the ruby? And arson. Oh. And murder. Oh. Isn't that right, Susan? Isn't that right, my sweet darling? Oh, God. 
Oh my God. This guy is unhinged. He's just like, yeah, he's acting like this is just like, this is what we talk about. Murder and arson. When we first met, Lucifer was the angel Samuel. I forgot the devil used to be an angel. Not yeah, any the angel. most beautiful angel too. The most beautiful, wisest, and most powerful of all angels. Yeah. Saving only the creator, Lucifer is perhaps the most powerful being there is. More powerful than you? By far. Wow. Especially gonna fly up and see where we are. Be careful. No, no, not doing that. Oh my god. Oh man. This way. God. Oof. Damn. I mean, geez, it's like just different tiers of torture for what you've done on Earth. Who's this? It is you. She is freaking gorgeous. How oh, I have prayed for this day. Oh. I knew you would come. So she sees her free son. Me. Then free me, Lord. Or what? Only your forgiveness. Wait a minute. Free me. Wait, she sees him in that way. No, I thought that was. But I have not yet forgiven you. I need that to be explained to me. It's just interesting that she saw him in, in that way. I mean, it, I don't know what that's supposed to represent. So these, they're all, in, these are cells. People just in cells for thousands of years. I admit that in the past, I may have done some things uh, morally ambiguous. <laughs> That's called not taking accountability. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. No. All right. Lady, don't do it. In this situation, don't call 911. No one can help you. If he if he wants to kill you, he can kill you. The cops can't just like trans, you know, transport into their car like a freaking agent Smith. if we stop for gas? No, not at all. I mean, yeah, I know. I mean, I would be freaking out, of course. But she she just has no idea how what the, what powers he holds. She was the ruler of a tribe that called themselves the first people. We were in love. Oh, so you've lived many, like, lives? The morning star is letting me know that hell has prepared for my visit. Yeah, like what's up there? Like all those like lights up there. I just find the crosses so interesting because they remind me of the Catholic crosses. And I just find it funny that the Catholic crosses are in hell. Usually they're used for exorcisms. And it's like they're, the demons are like, dude, I know what these signs are. They're not, they don't hurt me. Oof, pentagram. Damn, we're really going in. We're really here. So I'm assuming Brienne of Tarth is, is Lucifer. Oh, get, be careful. Hover, just hover. Wow, that is, whoa. I wish I was watching this on a huge screen. Damn. Ooh, she still has their wings too. It's gotta be Brienne of Tarth, cause I, I, like I said, I saw that in the, in the little thumbnail thing. Hello. Wow. Oh, and wearing white. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, who's that? I presume the ruler of hell knows this is no social call. Have you come to join forces then? <laughs> to prison by mortals. Oh damn! That must make. Ooh. I have come because my health That's pretty shameful. Stolen from me. They all look down on him. <laughs> Which demon has your helm? Name it, and we will bring it here. I confess I do not know the name. Then we will have to summon all of them. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. There now, dream, you may inquire. Which demon has your helmet? 
the power that she has. I mean, it's her place, but it's just crazy to just to <laughs> sure just do this and all the demons are there. This woman is beautiful. Everyone's beautiful in this show. Like, what the hell? I have recovered my son. It brought me to hell. And now it brings that which is mine in hell to me. Oh. Oh god. Oh, there it is. It was a fair trade. I've broken no laws. And if the Dream King wants his helm back, he will have to fight me for it. <laughs> if I win, you will return my helmet. And if you lose, you'll serve as my slave. Oh wow. Hell, for eternity. <laughs> Damn. I accept the terms. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Whom will you choose to represent you? I choose you, sire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like the BDSM assembly? I'm what is <laughs> dream. But the laws of hell demand that I become his champion. Wow, okay. So they have to fight. Let the challenge begin. <sighs> God, I forget that she is a very, very tall woman. I will be five minutes. Oh, we'll be fine. You take your time. She's lying to him. So this is where things get like tricky. I could use a drink if you don't mind. Sure. What would you like? I don't know. I haven't been out in the world for 30 years. Jeez, it gets worse. 30 years? It just gets worse. You fucking with me? Please just call 911. Alright. I'm calling them right now. Oh, man. Oh. Let go of her. He's trying to do. He's trying to help her and he's gonna die. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, Rosemary. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, damn, that that guy was trying to help and he just died. Like, oh, man, that sucks, man. She's never going to help anyone ever again if she survives this. I love what the Sandman is wearing, <laughs> what Dream is wearing. <laughs> they start throwing tomatoes at him. They're like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though they're like tortured and stuff, they're like, yeah, 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 Lucifer. We came here for the helm, and we're not leaving here without it. <laughs> we shall see. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Man, those wings. I set the meter. Very, I mean, this show is gorgeous. Just the first. All the details are am am amazing. I am a dire wolf. I am a hunter. Ooh. This is interesting. Horse biting. Poisoned toothed. Ooh. That's crazy that they can feel it all. Snake devouring There you go. Ripping. I like how they just kind of have to keep building on the story. Warm life <gasps> destroy. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh! Just say you're god or something and freak him out. Freak, freak Lucifer. <laughs> I'm Jesus. This is wild. This is just... <laughs> it's good. Wow. 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 What can survive the anti-life? Hope. 
Oh man. <laughs> Checkmate. That was that's hey, let that be a lesson to all of us. Yeah, rules are rules. Uh, th but this should give us all hope. That hope is stronger than even, like, the devil. If you have hope, you can win. In life. In everything. <laughs> Helmet or no, you have no power here. After all. What power have dreams? In hell. Mm. What power would hell have if those here imprisoned were not able to dream? Of heaven. Wow. One day, Morpheus, we shall destroy you. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> I mean, it sucks. Like, people don't want to be there. They don't want to worship you because they love you. That's the difference between their kingdom and like god's kingdom where their people love them and there's respect and and joy and hope and love and knowing that your your people hate you and despise you is there you go i know it's ridiculous i'm sorry no disrespect oh good are you going straight to the ruby now Specifically be for this reason, too, so that you can't grab it. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, his mom was saying, forget the ruby. Just keep the, the pendant that he has that, sh that kept her alive. Oh. Oh. Please. I don't care what happens to me. Yeah. Take it. Oh. Wear it. Because it protects. No one will be able to hurt you, not even me. Wow. There's no need to be afraid or tell a lie ever again. I have my ruby. Wow. Okay. Yes. The ruby makes dreams come true. And I'm going to use it to save the world. <laughs> Okay, great episode. Great imagination here with what hell might look like if it was real. And I just, I love storytelling. I love just being able to like dive into these fantastical ideas. Um, that, I don't know. This was like one of my favorite depictions of hell ever on like screen. I think this is that's that makes so much sense to me. I can't, I do want to go back to the to the 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 woman that freaking um, <laughs> dream put in hell. <laughs> he was like she defied me. I put her here. Wait, what? <laughs> like, can we have more information? Did she like kill? Was there genocide? Did she? What did? What bad thing did she? did she do or is it just that she just <laughs> defied you and she went to prison forever <laughs> like wait a minute um I, I, I may need to rewatch that scene again I, I thought that was awesome and it's just awesome how she just sees him as this other person so if dream is immortal which I believe he is I, I guess there's a possibility he could live as different people it's not necessarily, I thought at first she was seeing him for that. Like, like um, how there's different depictions of Jesus. Some people have white, blonde hair and blue eyed Jesus. Some people have um, a, a black Jesus. Some people have a Jewish type Middle Eastern Jesus. And then after watching 21, 20, what is it? 21 Jump Street, there's a Korean Jesus. So everyone has like their own version of like how they see god or whatever um and it's like it you know it's like whatever you are you want to see your god as or something um so i thought it was that 
but I think he can just jump into other lives. And it's interesting because the actor they picked for him, they it, it, he they look similar. The the black man and 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 the white man, <laughs> they literally it just had there's a similar look. To, yeah, that I thought that was that's interesting. Um, but I yeah I need to go back because I'm like wait you put her in prison in hell because she defied you. I mean what the. I hope it was something really worth it and not just because it was your ego because that's crazy. But I guess like he, Dream is not like a good character. He's like this, he's a neutral character, but he um, is necessary for like the circle of life. Like people have to sleep, people have to have dreams, people have, it's like this thing. And if, if he's not in the picture, things go out of whack, which is what we saw in the first episode. So... Um, he is important, but it doesn't necessarily mean he's like some good save life saving character. He's got his own motives as well. So that makes him interesting. He's not just like a, it's not black or white. Um, I do like the depiction of Lucifer, um, having the wings still and the, the wings are just these pitch black, leathery type, very creepy looking wings and 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 also just beautiful at the same time um yeah that i'm i'm glad to be watching this show i think um, eric the nerd chronic who edits um a lot of these videos he was he was telling me you gotta watch this so i'm happy to be watching this but I, rick is editing this series right now um rick ronan which you should follow him he has his own YouTube channel. He does reactions to music videos and um, uh, anime and different things like that. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be watching this because again, if you're new here um, or if you're not new here, I, again, I do talk about my upbringing, my Christian upbringing, which I was upset about for a while and now I'm like accepted it and I'm happy about it because I, I do, I believe like having that like upbringing and understanding parts of the Bible and, and I actually want to go back and like just restudy the Bible and just I, I think it's there's important messages in the Bible I think every book has important messages and they're here to help and it doesn't mean like everything in the book is going to be um, something you have to agree with or whatever but I do think again it's like don't throw the baby with, out with the bath water there is good things everywhere um, but it is interesting to, to see the stuff that I would read or, or, or listen to as a kid kind of on screen, but in a different way. And, um, yeah, I just, I love the, 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 what does hope kill? How can you kill hope? Ah, that's a powerful message right there. Powerful. And I honestly, like literally, this is, this has been the theme in like, the shows and episodes I've been watching, like Supernatural has been talking about hope all like the last few episodes I watched. It was like the spirit was like, what happens when I, what, or what, what happens when we die? Like, do we go to heaven? Do we go to hell? And they're just like, we don't know what happens, but we want to hope that you're going somewhere good, that that's where, and, and that's all we can do. Like none of us has an idea. We don't have a, uh, we don't have proof um, that heaven or hell or that exists or it doesn't exist we do not have proof on either side of it and we just but what we do have and what we can have is hope and faith so living your life in that way is beautiful and if even the devil herself can't fight hope or kill hope that should give you some hope so <laughs> I, I don't know that was cool that was awesome i i will mention rosemary that that storyline with John was really, really great. Like, it starts out with, you know, you're just doing the right thing. You're being a good Samaritan. You, you're trying to take care of someone who needs help, clearly. And then you find out that this person is probably one of the most evil people you've ever picked up in your life. However, this person also just has a... Is, he has a skewed perception of the world and a skewed perspective. He doesn't see what he's doing as an evil thing. He is like, 
he thinks he's going to save the world. It's so interesting. And I've that's been another theme um, with the shows I'm watching. And I don't know where what it was that I watched recently. Uh, maybe it was The Rings of Power and it was um, I don't want to spoil it if you're if you're not, if you haven't watched it, which I recommend. Don't listen to the naysayers and the haters. Watch that show. It's very good. It's a slow burn, but it's well worth the the wait. It's just eight episodes, and it's some of the most gorgeous things you'll ever. It's a gorgeous show you'll ever see. Um, so at least your eyes will be pleased. The acting is great. Everything is great. Um, the action when the action does finally come is fantastic, and I just feel like it's. Uh, at the end is worth it all like you, it, the first season it's so good but there is like a character uh who wants to help but they're like on the other side like we would see that character as an evil character and who is going to destroy things but they don't see it that way they think they're helping the world and it's so and there's there's different people in the show who have the same perspective and i think that's how it is in real in real life <sighs> like I, I, it's not black and white people, dictators and people who have been in power, who have killed thousands and millions of people, they believed they were doing God's will or what was right in their minds. It is, it's not like they were just like, I'm evil and I'm despicable and I want to hurt people. A lot of the times it's people really truly believing they're doing something right. And that's the scarier part. I think that part is scary because we want to believe that there is just evil and evil has no like thought of being good or wanting to help. But that is, I think, a dangerous thought process because then that's how a lot of these people fall through the cracks because you just can't even tell. By the end, but usually by the end, of the whole, you know, they're good speakers, they're people who are charismatic, and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, how did we get here? There's people who are dying, and there's people who are being imprisoned. Like, I, I, didn't, I wasn't, I didn't want this to happen. I just, I thought, I thought we were on the same page, and I was like, oh well, yeah, we were, but I had a, that person had a bigger perspective that you'll never understand. If that's how it happens. It's not like, they're, they have like a skull mask and like blood everywhere and they're like, I kill, I want to kill. It's like, that's not how real villains are. So I do like when stories like the these, they show villains with, that are, the, um, uh, it's not a one-sided thing. It's like, a, I don't know, like the Joker and other villains they have a motive and they're usually just trying to help people <laughs> in a weird way. So that's how John is too. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.